today we're going to install new disc brakes and brakes on the 2010 Honda Odyssey. All right, once you have the old ones removed and have the replacement ready with brand new brick pads, first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up the brake fluid reservoir, just like so. Next thing we're gonna do is compress our piston. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is put in the old brake shoe right there, right in place. Next thing we're gonna do is grab a C-clamp and compress the piston together. I'm gonna need both hands real quick. All right, and you just wanna compress the pistons nice and slow until you go all the way in. All right, once you have that knocked out of the way, what you're gonna do is grab the new disc brake. Yeah, get off of you. And we're just gonna set this on the tire. We'll grab some brake cleaner real quick. All right, I got some brake cleaner from AutoZone. So we're just gonna spray them down. Both sides. I'll wipe it down real quick. Still dirty. That's why. All right, so now we're gonna install it. All right, so you're gonna wanna line both of those holes with both of these holes right there, right in the center. So we're just gonna slide that in. Just like that. Grab the two Phillips screws and place them in place and screw them down. All right, so I have the first one tied down. We're gonna go ahead and it's good enough. It's just to hold the disc in place. It ain't going nowhere anymore. All right, so before I install this bracket, I'm actually gonna clean all this thread inside both of them they're both disgusting so we're gonna clean those out we're gonna clean these out and we're going to install new hardware sweet all right so I got everything cleaned up with brake cleaner and in here as well Let's see uh, let me see if you can. I don't know if you could, but you can see it's all shiny in there. Both sides. So this is ready to be installed. So we're going to do the hardware kit last. We're going to go ahead and install this bracket. So this bracket is going to take two 9-10 millimeters. And it goes right here. Just like so. So let's go ahead and slap that into place and get it tied down. All right, so here's the first one right there. And the second one is down here. Go ahead and drive those in, we'll screw them in. And then we're going to torque them down. All right, so on the book, it says that the front for the 2005 and later models, whoops front is torqued to 101 so we have our torque set to where you at numbers there you are wait wait wrong side there it is 101 all right and it also specifies to put high temperature grease on the on the bolt for the dust boot so I got some Lucas extra heavy-duty grease um, high temperature Boom. Um, 
I seen online that it's best to use synthetic. Not synthetic. I'm sorry. Uh, what's that word? Uh, to use silicone grease. This book comes in handy if you guys don't have one. Uh, shows a lot of things of how to do. I really don't need it, but when we need the specs for torquing, this one it comes really, really, really in handy. So now we're gonna bolt down those uh, 19 millimeter bolts to 101 torque specification. Sorry about the music. My neighbors way out there at the corner are having a party. I hope I don't get monetized in the fucking music. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get it. Go ahead and torque these down. Oh, fuck, I need to do it with both hands. God damn, 101 is a lot. <clears throat> Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna put in the brake hardware. All right, so this is everything that comes in the hardware kit. We have these, which mine didn't have any, but I am assuming that these go right here. I hope I'm right. Like so. I don't even see those in here, to be honest with you. Um, so I don't know if uh, maybe they didn't install these when I first got it, but look at that bad boy. Look at that shit slide down. Yeah, boy. That shit's clean. All right, so this one goes on the top one. What I've learned is to best put these in first. This one's going to go up here. I just have to work it in there. Come on, work with me. It's a brand new boot, that's why. Yeah, boy. All right, so now we're gonna get some of our heavy duty grease. And we're just gonna loop this bad boy up. On the picture, it looks like they used the brush. I'm gonna use my finger. want to get the grease all up in that all up in its business all right we're gonna wipe the excessive off wiped and you're gonna go in here oh man oh man look at that that's how that sucker should be beautiful all right so this bottom one is not gonna have one of those rubber boots this one we're just gonna pick up the old grease by old, I mean the one we just used. Not the old, old grease. Just gonna dab that on there real quick. Dab. God, California. Dab. Sweet. So there it is. Oh, damn. Forgot to install the boot, guys. Forgot to install the boot. Alright, so let's go ahead and this thing has a little groove, a little groove in there. So if you wanna just like pinch it and work it in there, get the sucker in there. Hey, you get it in there. Come on, make me look like an idiot on the national YouTube. There it is. There you go. You just gotta find the hole. <laughs> I had a problem like that once. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, sweet. So now we're ready to install our hardware. All right, so I'm gonna just grab the grease that I already have in my fingers. And I'm just gonna rub it all on here. Rub it, rub it, rub it. All on the bottom, all on the bottom. All right, and this is just gonna go right here. Mm, there it is. Thought I was gonna have to use two hands. 
All right, so the next one, same thing. Oh, ran out of uh, lube. So we're just gonna grab a little bit more lube and lube that bad boy up. No, you wanna prevent it from falling into the dirt. Uh, it did, mine didn't fall into the dirt. <laughs> I just cleaned the cement before. <laughs> I started working here. <laughs> All right, so now you wanna just place this one into its place. There it is. Top one is installed, bottom one's installed, boots installed, upper boot, bottom boot. Now it's time to install the new brakes. All right, it's time to install my NASCAR brakes. <laughs> Here they are, by NASCAR. <laughs> it's really by AutoZone. So this one is gonna go on the inside, like so. Like so. Let me see how the other one looks. Oh, nice. We're gonna stick this one on there because this one apparently is at the bottom and that's the way you want it. So we're gonna grab a little bit more grease. Do, 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 do. Just swipe it all in the back. Yes, sir. Wipe some right here. Oops, sorry. Wipe some right here. All in the back, all on the sides. Beautiful. Man, sometimes I do that. <laughs> I don't watch the damn camera. I just focus on what I'm doing so I forget to focus the camera. All right, so now we're going to grab the other side. Grab a little bit of more lube. And just slap the lube all in the back. Slap it in the back. <laughs> yeah, boy. Over here. All on the corners, everywhere. You want to get that lube everywhere. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna just stick it into place like so, and like so, and like so. All right, now we're gonna grab our compressed caliper and bring down the caliper and put it into place just like, uh, damn it, I'm gonna need both hands. Yes, push this in here. Push this bottom one down here. All right, now we're gonna have two four, 14 millimeter screws that just screw onto the back. Maybe. I'm gonna need both hands so I can adjust that caliper real quick. All right, once you have those in place, we're gonna go ahead and just drive them in. Got a nice little side angle drive. Boom, 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 boom. And we're just going to hand tie these. I really don't know what they're torqued to. I don't think it said on the book. Let me check. All right, so those did not have any specifications. So we're just gonna tie those to Georgia spec. And Georgia spec is like this. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. So that's how you install new uh, disc brakes on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Next thing you want to do is apply pressure on the brakes, but I still got to do the other side. So for now, uh, next thing you do is slap the tire back on, bolt it back on, and do the other side. <laughs> so let me do the other side real quick. All right, once you have the wheels back on, next thing you're going to do is remove the floor jacks. Other one as well. All right, next thing you want to do is lower the vehicle, preferably with two hands. That way it doesn't go down fast. <laughs> All right, next thing you're going to want to do is put back the oil reservoir for the brake fluid. All right. Next, we're gonna torque down our wheels to 94 foot-pounds. Put the right socket on here. Where is it at? Right here. Let's grab the whole extension. Yeah. 
and they should all be set to 94 foot pounds. Same thing with this side, 94 foot pounds. And uh, Ryobi brushless is pretty damn on it. All right, and the final step you're gonna wanna do is start the vehicle up. Press on the brake. All the way, release, push the brake. All the way, release. You feel that hard already? One more time. One more for good luck. All right, you're set. And that is how you install brand new disc brakes on the 2010 Honda Odyssey. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Woo. We're gonna try out the new brakes. Make sure they are running good. So car coming, so we're gonna have to haul ass. Oh yeah, these suckers work good. <laughs> it's the break in period. Yeah, these brakes work good. Sweet. Let's see, used to make a noise when we used to make a little bolt and break. Nope, nothing no more. I was power braking. Here's that that fixed it. I guess it was the rotors. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.